So you want to start a YouTube channel, but you don't know how. Well, on this video, you're going to know how to start a YouTube channel. going on my name is John I'm a filmmaker slash creator and this is my channel so welcome to it today we're talking about how to make literally a YouTube channel and I'm super excited to share three things that are gonna help you do exactly that so let's get into it right now so number one is super simple a subject and a camera now let me elaborate a little bit for a subject you can have one or multiple people that are gonna be in your video. And that's what subject stands for. So uh, if you're gonna have one as yourself, you're gonna do that. If you're gonna have multiple, like friends, you're gonna be doing different stuff. That's something important to know if you're gonna start a YouTube channel. Next is gonna be the camera that you use. Now you can use any camera, but it's not gonna give you the same look for each and every one of those cameras. So my advice for you is to get a camera that can shoot at 1080p because it's gonna help you you have a clear look and you want to have a clear look in the day and also as much as possible in the dark because it's very important if you're gonna shoot like in areas like right now uh, it would be a little grainy if it was lower than uh, 1080p uh, it would be very very grainy on the dark areas and you wouldn't be able to have a clear look and one of the things that I like to use in my own videos is the rule of thirds which helps me you know compose myself wherever I need to be so that it can be really smooth for the eyes now that's literally the theory of composition so your eyes you know it can be appealing to them it can be very nice for them and it won't be like very disoriented and just ugly so that's what the rule third is i'll be making a video about that later uh but that will be later on in another video but right now it's something important that you do need in your uh, YouTube. Two is location. Location is super important because you need to know where you're filming. When I first started, it was facing a wall and it was really plain, which is nothing wrong with it, but when you start filming, you start growing, uh, you're, you're gonna start seeing some things that you want to improve. And that's why I'm saying filming is super, uh, location is super important. So where are you filming? Some of the things that you need to consider uh, when you're asking yourself this question is the lighting. Are you gonna have natural lighting or are you gonna have artificial lighting? Because if you're gonna have one of those things, you need to know that when you're doing uh, natural lighting, there's gonna be changes in the light. Now, if you're doing artificial, you don't need to worry about that but all you need to do is control your light because it's going to be super important so those are some of the things that you need to consider when you are doing uh, location scouting now lastly you need to consider your space uh, space is super important because i think it creates a, a depth of really connecting with people in a weird way with space uh, even though we don't realize it uh, take for example right now behind me you just see a computer you see different stuff um, and it's not too blurry but it is kind of blurry but you're seeing something behind me so it tells you what i'm doing it tells you a little bit about myself and this is what this whole area it's about space is super important not only because you can get a depth of feel but you also tell your audience what you are about so for number three, I want to really recommend to have ideas. Now, this is what I recommend for your ideas. You can either start with one idea or go crazy. Now that can be in, in defined very differently. Like you can have one idea and go crazy or you can have one idea and just go crazy. You know, it just depends on what, you know, who you are and how you can handle things. If you are a person that needs to be focused and really, you know, that's the way you're going to be productive, then do it or if you're a person who can uh, multitask and that's the way you're productive then do that depending on how you want to do it I recommend doing one video because you can focus on one thing and really grow on that one video and then with other things that you're doing you can integrate them in that uh, channel and then you can grow from there so it's really up to you on what you want to do but here are some ideas just in case you want to start uh, a YouTube channel, but you don't know where to. So some of the things that you can start is you can start vlogging. It's very popular to start vlogging. A lot of YouTubers uh, got really big through that. Uh, secondly, you can start like a news kind of uh, um, video for YouTube where you share news about anything, whether it be political, whether it be comics, whether it be about new movies, whatever it is, you can do it. Another thing you can do is your, you know, your own 
interest this is something that for you you can do a channel of let's say you have let's say you have an uh, interest in cooking or you have an interest in filming or you have an interest in playing chess whatever it is you're doing another another thing that you can do is how to's this is something that helps a lot of people it's how YouTube uh, started growing on a lot of people going on there giving tutorials and giving how to's and how to grow how to create stuff how to you know, teach somebody to do something literally it's limitless it's all up to your creativity like they like to say the only limit is your imagination all right guys so we have reached the end of the video but before we go i do want to leave you with some tips that will help you in your journey so here's tip number one tip number one is start where you're at and then you'll know what you need this is super important because as we grow in this process we see other people that are youtubers that we look up to or whatever it is and we want to be in that place but you need to know that you need to start where you're planted where you're rooted because that's going to give you the process that you need to become who you will be on youtube secondly is test your product to the max this is something that's going to help you along your journey because it's going to help you not only uh, be a good filmmaker or a video maker it's going to help you know your equipment a lot better and that is super crucial when you upgrade so when you know stuff from your camera you've you know tested it to the max what it just limits what is the max you're going to have a good knowledge of that camera and you're going to be able to take that knowledge and put it into another camera another lens and you're going to be way more experienced and able to handle any situation because you know your equipment Tip number three are for those who are ready to upgrade their equipment. This is the way that I recommend that you do it. First, upgrade your lighting because that's something that you need. Even if you have a kit uh, lens, you can still have a good quality going through your camera because of the lighting that you're using. Secondly is the lens. The lens I really, really encourage for you to really invest in something that you can use for five to 10 years only because what you're looking in a lens is literally the glass that comes with it not really the lens itself or the the big lens itself the the glass is what you're literally buying so that's one of the things that you should invest in that it's going to last you five to ten years or even more and lastly is the camera camera the reason why i say this is because you want to get to know first your camera that you have right now and that's something important to do before you jump into a very expensive and digital and very complicated camera that uh you will use later on but right now stick to what uh, you can learn simply and get the buttons that you need all the stuff that you need learn from your first camera then upgrade tip number four is mono tripod the reason why i recommend this is because it's a versatile tripod that you can use in multiple areas you can use it inside you could use it outside it can fit in small places it can fit in big places you can literally take this monopod with you everywhere you go and use it in many different ways so this is something that i recommend for tip number four and lastly tip number five is a system that i created that will help you in all your social media platforms and that is create interest attract attention and lastly create trust this will help you in anything that you're creating because you're going to keep it in mind that whatever you're making you need to create interest in it and you know that that interest is going to create some attraction through your thumbnails through uh, your description something that you put or say is going to create that and people are going to see those things and ultimately what you want to create is trust you want to create that fan base you want to create a community in what you're doing and that's something some of the tips that i recommend for you as you're starting your youtube channel all right guys so we have come to the end of this video and i hope that you were motivated and encouraged to go out there and start your youtube channel and lastly i'll leave you with this quote that i use on a daily basis there are many reasons to create films so create your reason all right guys we'll see you later peace